Cha-cha-cha, uh, and I love her. As performed by Kurt Cobain, originally written by the Beatles, probably Lennon and McCartney, I don't know. So anyway, uh, this is probably the most miserable recording that has ever been made in the history of music. Uh, he tunes down a half step. That's how you get that extra depressing sound, but I'm gonna I'm tune down a half step right now, but I'm actually gonna tune back up into standard. We're just gonna learn it in standard tuning so you don't have to be bothered with the hassle of tuning down. And then when you want to make all of the happiness leave your body like a dementor is sucking it right out of your face then you can tune down a half step later on on your own time so here we go i'm going to tune up now did any of that make any sense i am now all tuned up in standard tuning and we can begin learning the song would you please play the third fret on the top string with your middle finger play just that top string then, using your middle finger once again, go down to the third fret on the second string from the top and play just that second string from the top. Then with your pointer finger, play the second fret on the second string from the top and play just the second string again. So that's that little like, like, like little riff that he does throughout the song. That bum, bum, bum. He does that so many times. I mean, we're just gonna call it the riff. I'm, so every once in a while I'll say, then you play the riff again. So we've got three on the top, Three on the second from the top, two on the second from the top. I would like you to play it with me, but I'm gonna warn you, this this is a pickup. What that means is instead of it's coming right on beat one, like going one, two, three, four, play it, it comes before beat one. We're actually gonna go like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, bum, 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 like that. So one, two, three, and we play. Play, play it with me, nice and slow. One, two, three. Ooh. Do you hear how bad that first note was? Let's do it again. One, two, three. At this point in time, he goes to an A chord. It's like, technically, I think it's an A major chord, but it's like sometimes it's an A major chord and sometimes it's an A like not major chord. Here's what I think. Here's what I think is happening. And this is how I believe Kurt Cobain is playing this A chord in the song. I believe that he has his pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. I believe he is also smashing down onto the third string from the bottom with his pointer finger on the second fret. And then what happens sometimes is his pointer finger also smashes down onto the second fret of the second string from the bottom. I think he's mostly just trying to push on the second fret of the middle two strings, the D string and the G string, third from the top, third from the bottom, but occasionally, that second to bottom string sneaks in there, okay? So that's what we're gonna aim for. Also, speaking of aiming a four, with the pick, aim for just hitting second from the top, third from the top, and third from the bottom. If you hit an extra string, no big deal, but aim for those three. One more thing, if you can, get your thumb to come up over the top and just mute the top string. We would love to not hear the top string for this chord. We're calling this the A chord, you guys. The reason why we're calling it that is because that's what it is. We're gonna go like this. We play our riff, and then we're gonna go to that A chord, and we're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, what am I counting off? I don't know, just play down, down, up, up, down, up with me, just so we can get that going. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, up. You did fine. You did, that was an acceptable job. Let's do it one more time. One, two, here we go. And down, down, up, up, down. That was about the same. That was tolerable. You, I would say that you are doing a tolerable job of playing this song so far. Now let's add in our little riff before. So it's gonna go. Ready? Remember that pickup thing. So it's one, two, three, then we start. One, two, three. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That was a little better. Let's try it one, one more time, that whole thing. One, two, three. All right.
right, you did a pretty bad job that time. I'm really gonna need you to work on that. So my watch keeps it, I have, okay, I have to tell you, for the past like five days, I have done no exercise whatsoever. And my watch keeps saying, keep it up. You can still reach your goal. And it's the most patronizing thing on the planet. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Let's, let's learn the next part. Okay, so we just went bum, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. Stay on the A chord and play down, down, up again. Okay, so we've got bum, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then you're gonna play the riff again. But this time, instead of playing the A chord after you play the riff, we're gonna play this E chord. So the way this E chord works is your thumb gets out of there. So now the top string is open, pointer fingers playing the second fret on the second string from the top. Your pointer finger is also smashing down onto the second fret of the third string from the top. And once again, what happens occasionally in the song is he, he also kind of will sometime push on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Usually he doesn't. Usually I think that string is just muted, but sometimes we'll get that. It makes it into like an E sus chord. It just, it's kind of a Kurt Cobain-ism that happens. And now we're just gonna aim for the top three strings when we're strumming. I feel like this is the simplest song and I am making it so convoluted. Watch this. That's the intro to the song, you guys. Play it with me. One, two, three. A, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Bum, 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 E. Down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. We are now ready to learn the verse to the song. Or maybe you call it the chorus. I don't know. This song doesn't really have verses and choruses. It has like an A section, like a main section, and then a B section, like a bridge. So I guess this is the A section, which is ironic because it starts with an A chord. Watch this. You're gonna play the riff again. It's not ironic, it's a coincidence. Atlantis Morissette screwed us all for the rest of time. I'll bet you she's proud of it too. Okay, so we play our riff, and we go to the A chord, and we just strum down, down, up, up, down, up. And now this is different from the intro. Now that we're in the main section of the song, we're just gonna do the A chord once like that. Then you're gonna switch directly to the E chord with no riff in between. And on the E chord, you're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you go right back to the A chord, do the same thing, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we're gonna go right back to the E chord. But on the E chord, you're just gonna go down, so that was a lot of stuff, but it's, it's not, it, but look, here we go, riff, A, E, then back to A, then E, down, up. Play with me, please, if you would, if you would, if you wouldn't mind. One, two, three. A, then E. Did you notice there's a little sneaky thing I'm doing that I didn't tell you about? What I'm doing is on the last strum up of each chord, I'm actually lifting up my finger and playing the open strings to prepare for the next chord. So for example, look, when I switch from, e, from A to E, I'm going down, down, up, up, down, lift, E. Down, up, up, down, lift, A. See that? I mean, it's not mandatory, but it makes it so much easier. It sounds pretty good when you're up to speed. It's also, it's something that Kirk, like every guitar player does this, essentially. I don't know, I can't speak for every guitarist, but Kirk Cobain does it like big time. He did it. He did it big time. Sorry to bring everybody down, but I just, I was I was talking about him like he was still doing it and he is, he is not still doing it. So we've got the riff, A, then E. Then E, down, up. Then we're gonna do the riff again. We go back to A again, down, down, up. Then E again. But then, we're gonna go up to this thing, then this thing. 
What this is, is a C power chord and a D power chord. For the C power chord, put your pointer finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. Now, the way that I normally play power chords is I just take my pinky and put it right below my ring finger. But the way Kurt Cobain would do it is he would take his ring finger and smash down onto those two middle strings. So that's what I'm gonna do for this song. That's what I recommend you do as well. So now we've got third fret, second string from the top with a pointer finger. Ring finger is playing five on the third from the top, but ring finger is also smashing down onto five of the third string from the bottom. As, as he is wont to do, the occasionally his ring finger also will go and hit that second string from the bottom on the fifth fret, not always but sometimes, which makes it into a C major chord. But we're just gonna aim for those three strings, the three power chord strings. The second from the top, the third from the top, and the third from the bottom. On this chord, you're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. Then to get to the D, so this was a C power chord. The D power chord is you just take this exact same shape with your hand and you move it one, two frets over. So now your pointer finger's on five of the second from the top. Ring finger is on seven on the third of the third string from the top and the third string from the bottom. So that little section there we just did was boom, bum, bum, A, then E, then C power chord, then D power chord. Then we go to just a totally normal G chord, you guys. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the top string. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, and then put either your pinky or your ring finger, it's up to you, on the third fret of the bottom string, and you strum down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's play that whole section all the way through, you guys. Starting from the boom, ba, boom, boom, one, two, three. A. Boom, ba, ba. Then E. Boom, ba. Back to A. Boom, ga, ga. E. Ba, ga, ba. I messed up. So what's going to happen is we're going to start again. I've taught you everything correctly, but just then I was trying to count and play chords and sing and I was doing all kinds of stuff. Did you guys know that I know how to juggle? I've done this before. It went really well. I don't have any juggling balls. Just take my word for it. I know how to juggle. I don't know how to juggle. One, two, where are we starting from? So we're starting from the beginning of the verse or the A section. One, two, three. A. Then E. So far, so good. Back to A. Back to E. Then the riff. A. Then E. Then to the C power chord. And the D power chord. Then we go to G. At this point in time, we're going to do the riff again. And we do that whole section all the way through again, exactly the same. How do you feel about that? I feel really good about it. Then we get to the bridge of the song, the B section. B section goes like this, you guys. It goes. Would you please play it for me? Pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, fourth fret, third string from the top. And once again, your ring finger is gonna smash down onto the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. So your ring finger is smashing down onto those middle two strings. This is a B power chord. So now we've done a C power chord, a D power chord. Now it's time for this B power chord. Aiming for just those three strings that you're pushing on, you're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we're gonna go back to our G chord, you guys. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Quick little thing about the G chord. If you're not used to playing the G chord, for this song, you actually don't need to put this 
finger down on the bottom string like this. What you can do is just do these top two strings, and then when you're strumming, just make sure not to play that bottom string. You can just go. See, my ring finger's not doing anything. My pinky's not doing anything. I'm just going. Just makes it a little bit easier. It doesn't really affect the sound in any meaningful way. Another thing I would like to point out about this part of the song, your pointer finger doesn't have to move. Watch my pointer finger. It's there on the second fret of the second string from the top. Then the G. Oh, see, it just stayed in the same spot, you guys. So we do that, I think, three times. Yeah, we go B to G, back to B, then back to G again. One more time, back to B, then G. Then we're gonna go back to our D power chord. That was the one where it was pointer finger on five of the second from the top, ring finger on seven of the middle two strings. You're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. And then we're gonna do our riff again. I got so sick of doing this just now. I was doing great. And now I'm not doing great. I'll play through the whole song at the end so you can see how it all fits together. But l let me tell you this for now. After we finish that B section that we just did with the with the B chord. Wait a minute. The A section starts with an A chord. The B section starts with a B chord. A totally a coincidence. That's not why those are the names of the sections. That's like a I know for like, like 150 years or maybe it might be like 800 years. I don't even know. Songs had like the A section, the B section. I don't even know how long has the alphabet been around. I mean, I know there are multiple alphabets, right? Wait, what does the word alphabet mean? Let's do this. Let's remember what I was talking about. We've got the verse. Shoot, I'm all mixed up. Look, we have three sections. We have the intro. Okay, that's the intro. Then we have the A section. That's where it goes. That's the A section. Then the B section is where we went. I don't know how to remember how the melody goes. How do I? Do you guys ever find it that you just like, there's a song that you think you know the words and the melody and then you realize you don't know at all? That's me right now and always, always and forever. We play the intro. We play the A section. We play the A section again. Then we play the B section. Then we just play the A section again. And then they end it by playing the intro two times. I'm gonna repeat that one more time then I'll play it all the way through. Intro, A section. A section again, B section, A section again, then intro, intro, done. Let's play it all the way through, nice and slow. I'm not, I, I'll sing a little bit, but I, I like I, we just discussed, I know none of the words and none of the notes. One, two, three, intro. I was gonna say something, you see that? And then I just did. A section. those words. A section again. Ba, 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 ba. B power chord. Oh. Then G. The B power chord one more time. G chord. 
then the D power chord, remember that? Up to the fifth fret. A section. Ba, ba, ba. Ready? Now watch this. One more little thing. We just, that last strum of the E, we just play it the one single solitary time. Not, I'm not, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 